What's up YouTube? It's Dead Guy Cardboard. I am back with a huge pickup that I came across on eBay. It was one of those situations where the seller really didn't know what he had and um, I basically bought this card for five to six times um, less than what it's worth. So I already snapped off the top, snipped off the top, and then I'm just going to open it. So here it is, the 1910 Coupon Cigarettes T213 Mike Mitchell. Now I think a lot of you are thinking, well, why the hell is this such a rare card? And I've never even heard of the T213. Well, the T213 uh, was distributed in Louisiana, and there's two different types of T213s. There's Type 1, Type 2, and Type 3. Now, this is a... Oh, not that one. This... This one right here is a T213 uh, Type 2 because it's made in 1914 and it's different than this one because it also has a blue font and has a glossy front to it whereas this one has just a regular black font, font and there's no gloss to it and the big difference is the backs are just a lot different looking. So this is considered a Type 1. And it was produced the same time period as the T206s. It was made in 1910. T206s were produced from 1909 to 1911. And I'll just show you um, an actual T206 that's listed by SGC as a T206. Um, if you look at the, the fonts, they're identical. They're both in black. The images are the same. And... Um, well, the backs are different, but I'll go into this back um, shortly. But before I do, I'll show you why this is an extremely rare card. Um, if you go to the T206 Resource website, um, and you go in their back rankings by scarcity, you can see that this Type 1 coupon is listed in between the Carolina Brights and the blank back. And the Carolina Brights is an extremely tough card. And so this one is listed even higher than that. And um, some even consider it to be in between the Lennox and the Broadleaf, the coupon type one. It's, it's really that tough of a card to find. And the reason why these this has an asterisk by it, as well as the Red Cross type one, which I don't have, and the Ty Cobb back, is because it's, it's a big debate whether or not these are um, considered T206s, but most not most, but I would say a, a fair amount, probably more than 50% actually on Net54 or people that are uh, vintage card collectors would agree that this coupon type 1 should be considered a T206. And I'll kind of explain why. Alright, so the big thing is the back. Um, the back is identical to so many other T206s. And I'll uh, show them um, in comparison. So here's the coupon. And then here's a cycle. Same exact border, um, almost the same exact font with the cigarettes and the baseball series. And then if you go to the American Beauty, um, same thing, same border, same font. Um, now, these cards are reprints, I wish I had the real ones. But if you look at the Broadleaf, um, same border, same font. Same with the drum, similar border similar font um, and like I showed you earlier you know, if you compare it with a T206 card they're identical um, the only thing holding this back for maybe being considered a T206 is the the card stock on this is very thin it's a little hard to tell because this is in a holder but it's definitely thinner than I mean, this is the first time I've ever seen this card I just pulled it out but it's definitely thinner than a Tito 6 card. Um, however, you know, if, if you're making the case just because of the card stock's different, then that's why it shouldn't be considered a Tito 6. I think you could also argue that the American Beauty um, shouldn't be considered a Tito 6 because they were all cut slim to fit in the packs. And this is considered a Tito 6. And so maybe there's a reason why they decided to use thinner card stock. Um, when packing this in the cigarettes. So, um, just 
still a huge pickup for me. This is an extremely rare card, a card I've been wanting to find for a long time. Um, like I said, I got this for less than $100, and it was a buy it now, and this card is worth, you know, depending on the seller, like three to four to even five times what I paid for it. Um, so I'm super stoked to get this card. This is now the the rarest back I have um, in my T206 collection, and probably the rarest card, yeah, definitely the rarest card I, I own. So I'm stoked to pick this up. Um, and it was definitely the biggest find I've ever found on eBay in terms of a, a deal. Um, so yeah, I'm curious to hear what, what other finds you guys have found on eBay. Um, you can definitely find some some interesting deals when you're looking at vintage cards. It's a little tough to find huge deals on um, modern cards. And I felt a little bad for, I guess, taking advantage of the seller, but this guy, you know, he was selling a bunch of thousands of cards, so he's a card dealer, he knows his cards. I think he just got mixed up with the listing. He was listing this as a, a, a T213-1914 card, because he had a bunch of these. And then he just listed this also as a T213-1914 card. But this is definitely from 1910, as you can see from the, from the label. And it is, in my opinion, considered a T206 card. And a very tough one at that. So I'm stoked about this pickup. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.